Hello YouTube, welcome to my garage. Uh, today we have a piece of equipment showing up, so I wanted to take a video showing a little bit of before and after. So here's currently how my garage is. I have a three car garage and this is on the uh, one car side. So I've got my little workbench up front, some cabinets, this little storage. I have my quick jack stored on the wall there out of the way. And then on the side here I also have a, another workbench with toolboxes and a little uh, area to put my power tools and a little TV there. So today we're going to have something exciting showing up and uh, being stalled right here. I'll, uh, cut to when that does come in and do a little walkthrough of that. Hello YouTube, back again. Wanted to give you guys a little update on my garage project. Um, took a before video. Unfortunately it's been uh, about a month later. Uh, so I got a four post lift installed and that's uh, so that I'm able to do a couple things but one of the main thing is able to pull my my two cars in let me sh kind of show you what lift I end up getting so so this lift is a Triumph uh, Classic, which is the shorter uh, length version of the four post lift. The capacity is 8,000 pounds, so able to uh, get the Lotus Elise on top and um, able to get the Lancer Evolution on the bottom here. I had to do a couple modifications to the garage. Uh, most of it involved installing a side jack post there as a uh, Link Master 8500 and move the rails up. Also had to get everything out of the way on top. Uh, that includes removing the lights that were there. So I went ahead and got new lights and put them around the perimeter that it wouldn't take up the spot. Of course that spot previously was a garage door opener also had to move any uh, associated lights involved with the garage door over so uh, with with this lift I still have another two locks that I, I can go higher uh, but unfortunately this is the highest lock that I can go without smashing my car up on the ceiling there and this gives me enough room to get off the locks. I think I have about, oh, six to eight inches up there. Uh, so realistically, I can go up another lock. These locks are about four inches apart from each other where you engage the next rung over. However, this 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 one fits, so I, I can technically go on to you know, this lock. Uh, you do need to leave yourself a little room, so when you're on the lock and you wanna come back down, you basically get up on it, off of it, uh, disengage the locks and drop the car down. So with this setup, I was able to um, comfortably, the highest point on this other car is really the the antenna. So if, if I ran without the antenna, you know, I have, I have quite a bit of room here. But this clears the highest point, which is the antenna, about an inch or so. And... With with everything going on, I went ahead and uh, got new. These are G floor mats, and was able to get it in the 10 foot wide, so there's no seams in the middle. There's a seam right here where I have my kind of workbench set up, so that's a small seam. I do have enough that I'm going to do that area right there, uh, just that little strip, and so. The controls on this are just that little hydraulic pump over here. This is to bleed 
when you come off of it and this lever is to engage and disengage the locks um, when when you guys have it on the locks it's of course not no there's no uh, there's no tension on the cables this unit runs off um, just a standard 110 volt I got a little bigger cord uh, this is a 10 gauge to make sure I, I, I don't trip anything but so far everything works pretty well uh, so of course the reason to get this lift uh, if you guys do some reading on the Lotus Elise and, as Elise's and Exiges, they are have a certain way to lift the car up uh, there are jacking points and lifting points and uh, did not want to kind of do the two post lift for a reason that um, you still need to take the under panel off and kind of access the middle part to properly get to the lifting points. There is an alternative uh, bracket um, aftermarket they sell to add another lifting point that gets it a little easier. But um, ultimately I think for me the uh, four post lift uh, gets me pretty comfortably working on it. I do have a, to find a way to be able to lift if I ever want to take the wheels off uh, while it's on this. And um, so yeah, the uh, we'll be having some projects. The reason I kind of back this up in here this way, so I'll be doing some other work under it. So I'll be kind of standing under here. I'll, I'll back this car up when I need to work. I'll be kind of standing up here working on under the car and and yeah I had to do a couple modifications this this is a front stop and on the the way it came it was fairly high and so basically when I drove my either car up on here the front lip would basically come up and hit this so you can't pull in all the way so I I went ahead and chopped off a good a good uh two three inches off of there so this still works as a stop I had to do the same with the front uh, I'll show you that so yeah as you can see the way the way this was it would uh, basically run into the lip here so I had to chop that off uh, still would would still would keep the car if, if it ever rolled into there and I do have it I do have the Car and gear, emergency brake on, and I do shove these little, little chocks in there. So I don't, I don't think there is an issue with that. Uh, I do have to shim that post up about three eighths right now. It's not quite level. The other, the other ones are level. That post seemed to be a little lower using laser alignment. So I'm going to shim that post up three eighths of an inch. And um, other than that. This is kind of my winter project is is uh cleaning the garage up and uh you know I, I was basically cleaning the garage up from where it was. I don't think you guys ever saw how dirty the garage was, but getting everything in cabinets, getting workspace up. Um here's my other side, here's my where I keep all my tools. There's my tire rack and uh getting this four post lift in and lighting in here is is uh kind of the wrap up of this project and be uh starting to work on lotus more i have a couple projects i'll be making videos on anyways if you guys have any questions uh please let me know and uh, uh thank you again for watching this video